Welcome to Stratascale and our fully automated cloud hosting solutions. In this demo, we'll purchase a public cloud VM and integrate it into a hybrid environment. And we'll do it all in real time and it'll only take us a few minutes. Straightforward, quick, and easy with Stratascale. Know that you can always call and speak with a Stratascale sales representative or one of our expert solutions engineers, but let's go ahead and use the storefront to directly buy a public cloud VM. You can see the six different levels we offer from an entry level bundle with one CPU, 256 megabytes of RAM, 20 gig of storage, and two terabytes of bandwidth, up through our level six VM bundle that includes four CPU, eight gigs of RAM, 300 gigabytes of storage, and two terabytes of bandwidth. All Stratascale public cloud options are priced and bundled with everything included that you will need to use the VM immediately. Okay, let's go ahead and buy one by adding a level one bundle. Ready, set, go. Here I can customize things, for example, by increasing the CPU or by increasing the amount of memory, but we're good to go with our level one as is. So we'll select a server image from the five OS options. And let's go with Windows Server 2008 64-bit. Then we'll add this VM to our cart. Here in add-ons, we could select additional features, but let's stay with our level one bundle and skip add-ons. Here's a summary of what's in our cart. All's good, so let's proceed to checkout. New users would first register, but for this demo, we're an existing Stratascale client already with some resources in our account. We're not gonna give you our login information, so let's just go right to the UI. Through this portal, and because we are fully automated, we have full control to manage our resources at any time from anywhere. You see in our environment, We've got a couple of public cloud VMs for dev in our public network, and we've also got some that we're using for web hosting front end. We're going to use our new unprovisioned level one VM as another web head in the environment. We're gonna configure it on demand and provision it in real time. In the server details page, we'll specify the resources to assign to our newly added unprovisioned VM. First, we'll rename the server. Let's call it Windows Web Server Demo. Next, to create a volume for it, we'll click on the Create New Volume link. This brings up a dialog box so that we can specify the parameters of this VM. You can see our OS options, and we'll choose the Windows 2008 standard 64-bit operating system, a license that comes as part of the public cloud bundle. Now let's give the volume a name and a short description. And for allocation of storage, we'll go with a standard amount like 40 gigs. Click Create, and our automated process takes off. The system goes out and allocates the resources to us, configuring the environment per our selections by applying the image of our new VM. Within moments, we're back at the server details page, and we can see that our newly added level one VM is now provisioned. Let's now connect the server to the rest of the servers in our network. First, we'll select our private network, and choose an internal IP address. Then we'll attach the VM to our public network and choose a public IP. Note that one should and would typically KVM in to patch it first before attaching to the public network. But for this demo, we'll simply move forward. Here we are back in server details. And from this view, you can see that we've attached to the network. We are integrated into our hybrid environment. All right, the last step. Let's go ahead and power on and bring up our public cloud server. And that's it. In real time, we purchased a public cloud VM, attached storage, installed an OS, integrated it as part of a hybrid hosting environment, and connected it to the internet. Straightforward, quick, and easy. Zero to provisioned in minutes with Stratascale.